Right everyone, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Now today, I am concentrating by the way, but Erin is starting the intro for me. So tell them what we're doing, Erin. So we are filming today. Well, Gran is filming today. Erin's going to appear in when the wind. <laughs> no, I'm just going to come with him for the day and eat my own food because I'm not being funny. No. But I am one hungry woman. <laughs> yeah, you can still eat. It's just got to be the cheapest thing. Right, anyway, tell them what we're doing. We are eating the cheapest item on the menu today. We are heading to Bill's for breakfast because it's my favourite place for breakfast at the minute. This was requested by Erin. Yeah, That's sorry. This was requested by me for this morning. So, yeah, obviously, I'm going to have pancakes still because that's obviously my thing. Well, let's hope that the pancakes are the cheapest thing on the well, menu. they're not. I already, I've already checked. Oh, don't tell me. I won't. Obviously, it's Brian's challenge. I'm just going to dip in and out today. I've got to like, get my hair done and stuff, so I probably won't be here the whole video. Erin did this here about six months ago, and... Yeah, that's a good point. I've already done it. loved it. We're here today because I never took part, and I actually really want to do it. I've seen it on YouTube, and I just want to give it a go and just see. And something that's um, slightly away from the baby content for a little while. Obviously, trying to keep it balanced and stuff like that. So, smash the like button for me. Do you know what? Let's set a like goal. We never set a like oh, goal. Oh, God. I don't even know how many likes you yeah. Well, let's set a goal. 5,000 likes. All right, there you go. You heard it here first. Tap the like button. And Bye also to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> joking. With the percentage is getting lower, there is now 50% that aren't subscribed. So what are you doing? Subscribe, it's free. It helps me out. You don't miss videos. Job done. We're all happy. I've also seen one where people do the most expensive item on the menu. So if you want, guys want to see that. If you guys love this one enough, we'll do the most expensive. Little bump update. These joggers were my baggy oversized joggers. joggers and now they're too tight on my stomach. You do I'm look big today, especially yeah. from the side. Move your bag. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you definitely look pregnant. Look. <laughs> and this pregnant woman is about to go and get her pancakes. It's only about two months left now, guys, so time we two know is going to fly by. You need to learn how to make buttermilk pancakes. I do not need to learn how to make Ooh, buttermilk pancakes. Oh, you know pancakes. what's in a mess. <laughs> I forgot it was half time. Look how busy it is. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning. And you just like, if you know, you know. Yeah. In a few years, though, literally like four or five years. Anyway, bills. I actually really like bills. However, I ain't getting my normal breakfast today. Well, what did I have last time? All I had last time was beef and toast with the side of, um, a side of fried potatoes. I'm going to see what the cheapest side is as well, though, because I might be able to get that. So let's have a look. Right. Oh, my menu is upside down. I'm gonna tell you what it is. No, don't tell me. So the cheapest drink is a Coke or a Diet Coke at three pounds, oh no, peach and fresh mint iced tea, three pounds 25, or a fever tree tonic. They're the cheapest drinks. Yeah, all the smoothies are more expensive as well. Cocktails, wine, obviously. Hot drinks, Americana is three twenty-five. I think I'd rather have a peach iced tea at three pounds 25. Breakfast. Oh no, porridge £6.50. Oh, get in. Bacon or sausage roll, 4 95 That looks like the cheapest thing. All the breakfasts are like £13. Is that what you saw? It's just £5.95. The cheapest thing on the side is baked beans. Baked beans is the cheapest side? <laughs> okay, I'll take that. <laughs> sausage roll with baked beans random combo, but we'll go with it. I like it, so it's all that matters. The peach iced tea thing, please. Any water for the table? Just some steel, please. Yeah, tap on a bottle, please. Yeah, it's quite a yeah. Can I have the fruit pancakes, please? Three. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go for the sausage one then, please. Yeah. Can I get to add the egg to that at all? No, thank you. But can I get a side of baked beans? Well, That's it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you Cheers, so thank you very much. Right, breakfast is ordered. I feel sick, but I'm right. hungry. Erin got the fruit pancakes. Did you get the fruit one? Yeah. With syrup? Yeah. And then, yeah, I got my sausage roll with a side of baked beans and I've got peach and mint iced tea. Is porridge just more expensive? Yeah, but I would have thought that tea and I, thought, I would have thought, sorry, that the toast would be cheaper than the sausage roll, but it wasn't. Yeah, how is toast with butter more expensive than a bacon or sausage roll? It wasn't just butter, it had like all of the... Oh, it'd be like jam and stuff, that's yeah. why. But still, I, I would assume that would be cheaper to be fair, but it's not. It's arrived. Ready? I hate peach iced tea. You are not going to like it. Or do you? No, you don't mind peach iced tea, do you? The time I tried it in Nando's, remember, I spilt it, but it was a can. It was a Lipton. No, it was something like that. But this is their own. Ellie and Lee love it. Give it a try. Ready? It's not that bad. 
I'll, I'll give you that. It's actually alright. Pink lemonade. What'd you get? Ah, oh, do you know what? Pink lemonade. It's actually alright. Yeah, you like peach ice tea. I have never liked it. You probably like Lipton ice tea then. It just tastes like a peach drink, peach squash. So is there actually a tea bag in there? I don't understand it. It's made with a bit of tea, I think. Yeah, I don't understand. But anyway, that's actually quite nice. See, that's the goal from today. We try new things, and now I actually like it. How good does everyone's pancakes look? They're just unreal. Right, this better be the best bite you've ever taken of pancakes. The amount you spoke about it today. Can I try a bit? I've never tried it. Please. I'm just trying it. Oh wow. Quite funny they were the cheapest item because they are banging. Anyway, mine looks really nice. So, nice toasted seeded bun. Just need to ask for some ketchup. Side of baked beans. <laughs> it is a good little breakfast. This looks banging to be fair. Also, how, how annoying that ketchup in the last month. I'm sitting there shaking it for like half hour. Oh, yours looks really good. It does, doesn't it? I like it when the sausages are cut in half. Is that weird? Good. Really good. I'm like halfway through my pancakes already. I'm just gonna sit there with my baked beans. It's like when you go to KFC and you get a pot of beans. Good. Fried potatoes in here though. But unreal. Yeah, this is well nice. I think you'd like that. Anyway, I'm gonna eat the rest of this. I'm gonna set you up. Finished. I ate my baked beans. <laughs> Honestly, that was a really good breakfast. Every sip I have, it's like, it literally tastes like peach squash. You can tell where the tea's in it, but. It is nice. I think you like it, try it. No, I don't like peach ice cream. How do you know? Because I've had it before. I think you're lying. Do you think Erin enjoyed our pancakes? From eating too many pancakes. Right, we're done in bills. There you go. As like you can see, look, sausage roll with extra beans, six pound forty-five, and my drink, three pound twenty-five. So in total, nine pound seventy. We took a big bottle of water, which was what four pound twenty-five. So it felt illegal to take it, but it's not. No, it feels illegal walking around here with a big bottle of water. Like, why is that so weird? <laughs> but also, I'm not going to leave it on the table when I paid four pound for a bottle of water. Yeah, we need that. That's it. It's nearly as much as my I mean, sausage roll. Anyway, we just had a look in a few shops. There's a new JD. I'm still waiting for that to open. We're gonna go and have a look in the food hall now. Don't know what to pick. You've got Nando's, Costa, Greg's, Wingstop, McDonald's, KFC. Just sat down in the food hall. We're gonna get great. So, the southern fried potato wedges are one pound. I reckon they're more than that now. Barbecue chicken bites, one pound fifty. And then on a the sweet side, you've got donut, one pound. Oh no, a yum yum, 75p. Oh no, jam donut, 55p. So all of this stuff is out of the question because these are like £3.35 each, which aren't the cheapest. Even like a uh, spicy chicken baguette, £3.70. Cheese and honey mustard toasty, £3. All of these things are £3 plus. Wedges are all the way down here in the hot counter. Ah, oh, this is what we needed. We needed jam donuts, but we don't want we don't want a multi-pack. That's say 90p each though. 95p for a glazed, £1.25 each for one of them. So far, jam donut is the cheapest, but they're not 55p like it says online. They're 90p. <laughs> Oh, yum yums. £1.35 for two. So that's about 60 p a serving, roughly. We'll do that and we'll just eat one. Right, there we go. Wedges, £1.25. Cheapest thing. The Gujarans are £3 there, £1.90. Hiya. Can I get one jam donut? Is that alright? Please. Jam donuts on their own, guys, 90p. There we go. Can I get them as well, please? Is that alright? Perfect. Cheers. Jam donut, 90p. They said they were 55p, but in the actual shop they're 90p. So that website is obviously outdated, but that was the cheapest sweet treat. I was gonna get yum yums, but they were £1.35 for two. So if you did it by one, they were technically like 65p a donut, uh, 65p a yum yum. But this was the, the cheapest single item at 90p. So, right, a little bit of Do you have to get the mayonnaise out? Comes with the wedges. Guys, comment down below if you hate mayonnaise. Comment down below if you love mayonnaise. These wedges are good. How can you not like mayonnaise? So I just paid one pound, one pound ninety for a solid portion of potato wedges and a jam donut. Can't complain with that. I actually really like these wedges anyway. When I was up there filming, there's like an older couple in front of me. They're like, why is he filming the food? Because I was there on my own and they can hear me talking. They're like, is he talking to himself? Probably think you're a nutter. Jam donut time. I've never eaten a jam donut. You're gonna eat it now. Yep. I don't really like jam. That's why I don't like jam donuts. 
I like jam and donut. Tastes like one you get in a supermarket, like, like a Tesco pack or something. Yeah. Try and do it without licking your lips. I'll take another bite without licking my lips, really. Oh, no! <laughs> right, that was pretty well going. £1.90, I'll take that. Just realised as well, I didn't get a receipt. The cheapest bit of hot food is the wedges. Still got hold of my water. <laughs> it's definitely more busy in here. You have to watch where you're walking. I can't stand it. You have to literally watch where you're walking because it's, it's like, like Christmas shopping. Yeah, oh, I hate Christmas shopping. Like, I like it because of the vibes, but. You've got an excuse this year. Yeah. Our, no one our, our Christmas present is baby boy to everyone. Yeah, we are. We're doing Secret Santa with my family, so it makes life a lot easier. We're back with another restaurant. I say restaurant, it's gonna be a drive-through. We are heading to KFC. We haven't done a drive-through yet, so I thought, oh, we'll do a drive-through. See what the cheapest item is on the KFC menu. Blooming hell, mate. You wanna move over, me old friend. I have a feeling the cheapest chicken on the KFC menu is probably going to be a hot wing. I don't know. Can hot wings come on their own? I feel like if a hot wing can come in a single item, then a hot wing is going to be the cheapest cheapest item. Erin also wants me to get her some popcorn chicken and chips with barbecue sauce. I could just say to them on the mic, like, give me the cheapest thing on the menu, but they might not even know themselves, so I need to do my own homework. <laughs> Don't think there's a queue either. There's one person in the, in the KFC drive through at the minute, so that's all good. Let's just have a look at the board in the drive through I mean, there's a menu here before the speaker. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to get to the speaker and be like, eh. Oh, they're all meals. Large popcorn chicken, eight hot wings, four mini fillets, four pieces of chicken. All of them are four pound each. I don't want that. I just want like a, I just want a solo wings or the solo whatever the cheapest thing is. These are all meals on here. I'm going to have to ask them, aren't I? They're £2.79 per pot. Oh, there's a car behind me now. No. Right, we need to move. What are you moaning for? He's literally moaning at me. Hi, you're welcome to KFC, but can we get uh, What is the cheapest bit of like chicken you do on its own? Like how much is like, can you do a single hot wing? Two hot wings for 119. Two hot wings for 119. Perfect. Can I get one of them please? Yeah. What's the cheapest side out of like the chips, beans and chips are 199 and then beans, coleslaw, gravy corn, 179. I'll have a beans, please. In fact, I'll go gravy, please. Yep, anything else, is that everything? That's it, thank you. Payment for the very first window. Cheers. Hey, the guy behind me was like moaning when I was looking at the menu. Like, I saw him put his hands up like four times. There we go. Cheers, mate. So, they didn't give me my receipt again. Why is nowhere giving me the receipt? We know what it was because it was on the speaker. But anyway, gravy, two hot wings. That's quite good, I think. £1.19 for two hot wings. But it's a little bit wrong, isn't it? Putting hot wings in the gravy. We're going to try it because why not? Oh, that is hot gravy. Oh, I need to be careful of that. If I elbow that gravy, I'm going to be in big trouble with myself. Hot wing in the gravy. Why does this seem so wrong? Mm -mm. You know what? Hot wings in gravy is actually quite nice. I've made up my own weird menu item here. I'm actually not joking. That's actually quite nice. There's me thinking the cheapest thing was going to be them Kansas chicken bites. £1.19 for two hot wings. I honestly think that's really good. One hot wing down. I just dunked the whole wing in the gravy. Now it's going to drip everywhere. There we go. It's like spicy gravy. They didn't even give me a napkin either, but luckily I've got my own tissue in my car. Well, thank you KFC. That was beautiful. Now I need to go back around the drive through and get Erin's food. Do you know what? I could actually eat more of them hot wings. You just don't get as much chicken on wings. My favorite thing from KFC is probably the mini fillets with barbecue sauce. A few moments later. But guys, I thought it'd be rude not to come to McDonald's. So we're in the McDonald's drive through Oh, there's a new menu as well and I've not tried it yet. The Philly, the, oh God, the Philly cheese stack. Definitely not the cheapest menu on the item. <laughs> cheapest menu on the item. Cheapest item on the menu, because I already know that, because it's a limited burger, so it's definitely not gonna be cheap. It'll be about six quid probably. Whereas McDonald's do have a saver menu. I should have had a look at the menu, shouldn't I? I'm just winging life, do you know what I mean? Don't switch. Uh, what can I get food today? Hi mate, what is the cheapest hot food on the saver menu nowadays? So we can actually now do the cheeseburgers and double cheeseburgers and the mayo chickens as meals. Them in a medium cost Three ninety nine for a cheeseburger. Three ninety nine for a mayo. What about thing? What about on its own? It's a hamburger at one twenty nine. 
Can I get a plain hamburger, please? And then, what about the like the sweet treats? So you can get a apple pie for one sixty nine. Is that the cheapest sweet? Or a sweet? mini Maltese Master Oreo flurry for one forty nine. You need to get a Twix toffee apple also for one forty nine. Or the Halloween M&M for 149 as well. And I have a mini, was it Maltesers you said? Yeah. Mini Maltesers please. Yeah, anything else? That is all, thank you. Bosh. The cheapest thing on the menu is now, well, I mean I think it was always in the saving menu, right? Hamburger, but they're no longer 99p. They are one pound, did he say one pound 29? We're actually gonna get the receipt, all right? We're gonna remember the receipt this time. Does anyone ever bring their wallet out anymore? Because all I do is pay with Apple Pay in the drive-thru. Like, that's all I do. I can't remember the last time I had my wallet on me and took my card out and paid with a, with a debit card. Hi up. <laughs> Cheers, mate. 278 for a hamburger and a mini McFlurry. That's pretty good going, if you ask me. Hi up. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Perfect. Can I get a curry dip, is that all right? Please. Thank you very much. We've also got the receipt in the bag. I saw it. I saw it. All right. I didn't ask for it because I saw it. Right. So, Mackie D's. I was number 1946 on my receipt. I'm pretty sure that's an album name. I forgot as well how thin a plain hamburger is. Open a curry sauce. I normally buy a sour cream dip, but if I was to get one free with the food, I'd go curry. Unreal. If you don't like sweet curry dip from McDonald's, then mmm. That is what I'm talking about. You know what? For a plain hamburger, I don't like gherkins and all that. It tastes decent. You can't go wrong with McDonald's. You actually can't. I feel like that's why everyone goes back to them, because you know what you get them. This is unreal. I reckon I could have done that in one bite. There is a girl on TikTok that I've seen her stuff. She's done a one bite Big Mac. How do you do that? Burger done. The next cheapest menu, cheapest item on the menu, is a mini Maltesers McFlurry. I don't even think I've ever tried a Maltesers McFlurry, to be honest. I must have done it at some point. Oh, it's cold in my teeth. When you go from hot food to cold food. Right, hear me out, right? Let me know if you're the same. Maltesers is a chocolate that I wouldn't necessarily buy, but if I've got them and someone else offers me some and I eat them, they're absolutely banging. And then I wish I bought them. Like, I love Maltesers. But as much as I love them, I just, I wouldn't go into a shop and go, or Maltesers. Do you know what I mean? Why is that? Is it is it just me or is there other people like that? You gotta let me know down below because honestly, I feel like that is the way. But then when everyone starts eating Maltesers, they're like they're insane. If you've got this far in the video as well, guys, make sure you tap that subscribe button. It's free to do. Giveaway coming at half a million subscribers, so tap the button. It is nice this, but I like McFlurries where there's sauce in them, not just chocolate topping. I like chocolate sauce. They need to bring back the nacho chili, nacho cheese wedges, they're the best. I don't know if you heard what you said like the window. I said about the cheapest item and he was saying about you can put double cheeseburgers with meals now for like £3.29 I think he said. Which if that's true, that's actually really good. Normally they're on their own, you have to get the chips as well if you want a double cheeseburger. That was tidy. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this video. Pretty decent. Right, it's home time and I'll catch you in a bizzle. So, it is now time for dinner. I've been waiting for this one guys. What's the matter? What are you barking at? So anyway, I'm on the Nando's menu. I'm gonna get delivery for Nando's. So, I've just been having a browse through the menu. Basically, all of their chicken is expensive. Well, fairly expensive, right? It's three wings on their own is £5.70, which is the cheapest thing. However, like butterflies, £10.30. However, I then got down to the Nandino's kids section. This comes with two sides for £6.95. So if I did the three wings plus a side of chips or the cheapest side, it would cost more. So this is the cheapest way to do it. I'm actually going to do a chicken burger, garlic barbecue spice. I'm fussy, so I take out these two, but I keep them two sauces. See, now I can pick two Nandino sides. So they're smaller versions of the side. So I'm going to go spicy rice what and a chip. I've just put the heating on for the first time this year. Well, probably not this year. This winter. This winter. And you can smell like the pipes are like warming up. Do you want anything from Nando's? Oh, honey boy. No, Do you want anything from Nando's? Me belly last time. I've also got a new football account, guys. Brandon knows ball. I'm going to pop it on the screen here. TikTok and Instagram. Go give them a follow, especially if you like football. But yeah, I'm going to watch the football, get my Nando's ordered. Do you want anything from Nando's? Look at her, she's gagging to Hoover. I'd really like to Hoover. Do you want anything from Nando's? No, thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, she's had her hair done. Mm. <laughs> Two hours later. Right, cut Nando's out of the equation. I've waited an hour and a half now, and every time I go to put it through, it says it's closed because they're obviously too busy to deliver. So I'm going to order a kebab. It's not like a chain, like a German donut kebab. It's just like a local kebab shop, which is banging though. So I'm going to show you the kebabs. There's not actually much difference price-wise. You've got a lamb donut, twelve ninety. Meat and chips, twelve ninety. Chicken sheesh, thirteen ninety. Lamb sheesh special, fourteen ninety. They're basically the 
the options. I want chips and lamb dinner on its own is 12.90, but you can get meat and chips for 12.90. I think I'm gonna go meat and chips because you can't go wrong with that with a bit of burger sauce. Right, continue. Anybody else here? Holly's here now. Anyone else want a kebab? No, thanks. Okay. Oh, Ward Prowse has got a free kick right on the edge of the box. Right, it's ordered. You're either a lover or a hater of kebab. Oh Erin hates kebab. Ah, it just looks awful. It is so good though. I love a good old kebab. Nice bit of burger sauce on top. Right. Chips. Look at all them chips. Mmm. This is good to be fair. I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Smashed it. Mate, I was really hungry for that. I'm not gonna lie. Like that was like the first sort of meal I've actually had today. Obviously like the cheapest items, most of them are just like singular items. I know it's not great food, like it's takeaway, isn't it? But isn't most of the stuff in this video. So guys, I'm gonna wrap it up on that. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you go down below, smash a like. Let me know what you would order from a kebab shop actually. Cause I'm quite intrigued. Like some people have wraps, like Donner and wrap or chicken in a wrap. But yeah, when I love and leave you all, make sure you all subscribe. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, then make sure you do it. You you won't miss out on any content then. Say bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. Oh, Peppa. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna love and leave you all. See you in next week's video. Peace. Peace.